Hey guys, this is Collar, bringing you another viewer-requested video commentary, and this is of Backhoe playing excellently in a 2v2 match uh, played about two and a half months ago, and I'm deciding to do this now because Backhoe will be playing July in two days in the OSL semi-finals, and frankly, I don't know too much about Backhoe, and I think um, a lot of the foreigner community does not know much about him, so I definitely want to cast some more games to give you guys a chance to watch him in action. That This was requested by something like six viewers, so um, this should be interesting. This is a Pro League match played between Lake Half Oz and KTF on April 15th, 2008. Here's the KTF team. Uh, that was Oops, the Orange Protoss at the 2 o'clock, and this is Zergbung, the Yellow Zerg at the 8 o'clock position. Note that Oops is not Oops Reach. Uh, it's definitely not Oops Reach. Not the Mantos they're playing for KTF, but a Protoss player called Oops. And here is the Lake Half team, uh, Two Sky, the Brown Zerg at the 5 o'clock position, and Backhoe, the White Protoss, at the 11 o'clock position. Uh, this map is Hannibal which uh, has led to a lot of very good 2v2 games. I don't know what happens in this game, but a lot of people have... Um, well, I do know that Backhoe plays very well, I'll put it that way, but I, a lot of people have also requested this video, so I do know who wins, but um, I won't give away what happens, or I don't know what happens, rather, to give away with. Uh, there is Backhoe, by the way, building his first gateway inside of his base, and uh, Backhoe is actually not very tall in real life. Uh, whoa! What is going on here? A uh, lot of... A lot of probes coming out from Oops base. Looks like Oops is going to go for a worker rush here. A uh, probe rush and three drones coming from Zergbong's base. So it looks like an all-in all in rush coming in to fight the uh, Lake Half Zerg uh, Two Sky, who's at the 5 o'clock right now. Looks like five probes and three drones coming in. And meanwhile, a fast spawning pool from um, fr from uh, Zergbong. Looks like Zergbong went for a 9 pool, or perhaps an 8 pool or 7 pool or something like that. And now he's got some drones uh, coming in to build creep colonies. Looks like Two Sky is going to realize this. Two Sky went for a fairly slow build. It seems like he went for a uh, 12 pool. And uh, he has a lot of drones, but they're not going to help him. His uh, spawning pool looks like it's away uh, from from finishing. And looks like the probes are doing some nice damage on these drones. What they're really doing is uh, pushing them away from the uh, from from the spawning pools. At, sorry, from the sunken colonies as they're being morphed in, um, so that uh, they don't kill them off. And now one of the sunkens is already in range of the main hatchery. This is going to really hurt Two Sky. I think there's basically no way for Two Sky to come back from this. It's going to take a long time for Backhold to arrive. And looks like his creep colonies are not. Can be able to morph in the sunken. Uh, the, oh, finally, finally, the um, the spawning pool is finished. But the problem is the uh, sunken colonies are able to hit the hatchery, and there's no way for that other sunken colony to retaliate against these two sunken colonies. Uh, they're just he, it, that one is just not in range. So the two sunken colonies from Zergbong are going to pick off the hatchery, and the sp and uh, pretty much there's going to be absolutely nothing left inside Two Sky's base. So effectively, this is a 2v1 game now with Backhoe fighting the entire KTF team of Oops and Zergbong. Meanwhile, though, the White Protoss Backhoe does does have a zealot inside of Oops' uh, probe line here, and I believe that is Oops over there. No, I think that's Two Sky, but anyway, Oops has lost already uh, two probes, and certainly he's been forced to pull a lot of probes off of uh, mining. Now the probe's coming back from the attack, and finally, um, a zealot being produced there by by Oops and able to chase away Backhoe's uh, Zealot, but it looks like Backhoe going in for perhaps another pass. No, it looks like he's actually going to just stay outside, uh, but he's in a bit of trouble here. He needs to deal with a 2v1, and it's going to be very, very hard for him to come back. Let's see what he does in this game. Um, it seems that Zergbunk does not have a lot of drones, actually, so uh, since he had to use two drones for those two sunken colonies, I think he only has five or six drones total and one sunken in front, so actually, he only has five drones right now because he I think he went for a 9 pool or an 8 pool, and um, he needed three drones to build three Three sunken colonies total in this game, uh, and Backhoe has managed to do a little bit of damage to to, to Oops uh, economy, which wasn't strong to start with because he had to go for that worker rush. So uh, right now it's basically Backhoe versus um, uh, two players that, who have been economically hit by the fact they won for the early rush. So uh, basically, Oops. I'm sorry, basically Backhoe has to finish off as soon as possible. Here comes Backhoe with four Zealots, and now uh, looks like Zergbung's doing a good job of holding his ramp, though. Um, this one sunken colony doing a lot of damage to those Zealots, and looks like the Zerglings and drones will manage to hold Backhoe off. But Backhoe coming with, I believe those are Backhoe Zealots, yes. Four Zealots total now for Backhoe, and now the troops coming from Oops base to try to reinforce uh, Zergbung, but looks like Zergbung's uh, line has been broken here. Those Zealots are going to be able to pick off that sunken colony. This could be Terrible, absolutely terrible for Zergbong. Zergbong only has five drones. He needs to run his drones right now to escape uh, them getting killed here. Looks like he's about to start retreating. 
Uh, he needs to get those drones off the line, though, losing, losing one drone already. And uh, meanwhile, producing a couple of Zerglings to deal with this threat. But uh, looks like he's only has three drones less, losing another drone. Careless play by Zergbong. I felt like instead of dancing the drones around and trying to micro, he should have just run them away. And looks like he's going to get intercepted by another pair of Zealots from uh, Bako. Bako is just rallying the Zealots towards that choke. I can't even tell what's going on. I think a couple of Zealots, oh man, another drone going down for Zergbong. So Zergbong left with just one drone due to very, very poor control, I feel. I felt that he should have just tried to hide them or run them away right in the beginning, but instead he just ran them around in circles, getting them killed by Backhole's uh, Zealots. And Backhole has basically finished off Zergbong. Zergbong with only one drone. So basically it's going to be a Protoss on Protoss now, um, because Two Sky is completely out of the game, and Zergbong is almost entirely out of the game with just one drone left and a couple of Zerglings. And meanwhile, here comes an attack from Backhole once again onto Oops. And Oops has been a little slow in getting his uh, getting his forces to help his partner. He's building a robotics facility and a third gateway here inside of his base. And yeah, the Observer is just showing us the Zergs are basically out of this game. So we'll have to see Backhoe's PvP skills, and I believe they are quite strong. Look how many more Zealots he has. Uh, he's trying to storm up, trying to storm up Oops' uh, ramp here, and uh, I don't think Oops is going to be able to hold. He's forced to send his probes out uh, with a probe drill, but he's going to lose some probes this way. It looks like he does have Dragoons out, so able to hold now, but uh, looks like he's lost about five probes already, down four. Uh, Oops, good micro by Backhoe uh, targeting those probes instead of having his, let try instead of having his zealots uh, go crazy against the probe drill, which is what usually happens. They just dance around wildly. And Backhoe has managed to ascend the ramp here. He's gotten into, uh, into Oops' base. And uh, Oops, now with just two Dragoons. Uh, and it looks like Backhoe is not going to go for the Dragoons, who can micro away pretty well. Uh, he's going to go for the probes once again, picking off probes left and right there. And Backo has very good control. He's actually sending uh, attacks on both bases at the same time. It looks like he's actually microing those Zealots on the ramp there. Um, on uh, Yeah, definitely microing against Zergbong. So uh, Zergbong up to four drones now and six links still from previously. But now he's going to lose a number of them. Uh, looks like he's actually using his drones to fight. I'm not sure if that's a wise idea. Uh, six links should have been able to take care of of those. Uh, well, I don't know if they exactly take care of it, but they would be able to kill at least two of those zealots. Uh, but looks like, wow, he's going to lose all of his drones except one once again. Backo is showing very good zealot control, uh, picking off the drones, and he doesn't care if the zealot goes down without finishing off the base. He's basically finished off Zergbong already, and Zergbong, uh, with his one remaining drone at low health, managing to escape. Um, here comes Oops pushing out, but uh, his units are not in a good formation. Uh, Backo now retreating towards his base with his units. Uh, the one thing that the KTF team has going for them is the superior attack of Oops. Looks like Backo just is uh, still on the Gateway Cybernetics level, while Oops uh, has his robotics facility and a robotics support bay, so we can expect Reavers coming from him very soon. And here comes Backo now with a counterattack. It looks like they have about even numbers of forces here. And he's going to be running into... Oh, nope. It looks like he's going to be backing up also. So, uh, fourth gateway, I think, for backhoe inside of his base. And the Reaver is out for... Uh, for Oops, I think Oops is going to be able to hold his ramp now pretty well. Here comes Zerglings from Zergbong. I think uh, that's pretty much all he's caring about producing right now is Zerglings. I think he's given up on trying to really have uh, much of an economy at this point because his bo his base is so vulnerable uh, that basically uh, basically Bako can finish him off at any time. So any drones will probably be a bad investment at this point. Those Zerglings are now going to be attacking the drones. Uh, the sorry, the probes of Bako. Looks like that um, that scarab was a dud. So uh, I think this Reaver is going to be able to hold Bako away, but Bako is setting up a little bit of a contain there, and it looks like the probes of Bako had managed to pick off the Zerglings. It didn't seem like they sustained many losses either, so that, I think that's, um, well, I didn't get to see it exactly, but <laughs> that would be very poor for Zergbong if he didn't manage to pick off many probes, considering he had absolutely nothing else to micro. I mean, he has three drones and uh, six links. you got to micro those links pretty well there, buddy. Uh, but it looks like he loses those links, and he is just once again down to three drones. Um, Backhoe, I think, is bringing a couple more units now to finally finish off Zergbong. There he is, Backhoe. And what I was saying before is uh, I was surprised at how physically short Backhoe is um, when he was at uh, doing these interviews after winning the uh, round of eight. Uh, he just <laughs> I was very surprised how short he is. Anyway, that's not not to make fun of him or anything. I'm just just an uh, observation. And now the drones from Zergbong are just running through, using uh, probably clicking on a mineral patch somewhere else in the map. And looks like they're just going to give up on the main base here. Um, there's pretty much no way that that uh, Oops can reinforce him because he is contained right now inside of his base. Backhoe has gotten done a very good job of finishing off Zergbong, meanwhile containing Oops. And uh, this is a factor of the fact that